dielectric connector lubricants, six myths and the factual corrections. Myth one, grease attracts dirt. Grease does not attract dirt. Grease is not polarized and it does not act like a magnet for dirt. Sure, if dirt lands on top of grease, it will stick there. But that's one of the reasons for using a connector grease in the first place, as a protective barrier. It will protect the contact area from contaminants, be that oxygen, moisture, hazardous gases, and of course, debris. If dirt lands on top of a connector grease, it will not burrow down or penetrate through the grease to the contact surface. A connector grease is not being worked like a bearing grease. It's static, i.e. stationary. At most, there are a few unmating or remating actions for a connector during its normal functional life. But it is unlikely that the dirt will find its way between the contact surfaces unless there is some neglect involved. Myth two. Connector lubricants interfere with conductivity. Take a moment to study the graphic shown. A correctly formulated dielectric connector grease will not insulate nor will it conduct. Think of the two contact surfaces coming together like two jagged mountain ranges. The current flows where the various mountain peaks of the two contact surfaces touch. These mountain peaks are referred to as asperities, or sometimes A-spots for short. When the mountain ranges or contact surfaces come together, there are a lot of microscopic gaps or valleys, if you want to continue the mountain range theme. Think microscopically, not what you see with the naked eye. So the grease sits in the valleys or the gaps between the mountain peaks, and the current flows as normal. There is no increased resistance across the connector. Myth three, connector lubricants do not prevent corrosion. Where applied, a connector grease will environmentally seal the surface, acting as a barrier and protecting the contact metal from oxygen, moisture, debris, and other contaminants. Some of our connector lubricants can even deal with hostile conditions, resist hazardous gases, and some acids. Our perfluoropolyether or PFPE based greases are relevant for such extreme environments. Myth four, connector lubricants do not significantly lower insertion forces. Take a look at this histogram. This was a benchmarking exercise for our core range of connector lubricants. Compare the insertion force required between unlubricated versus lubricated connectors. This graph shows average force for 10 insertions. However, if you only intend to insert a connector once during assembly or build, then this first and only mating is critical. This is especially the case for our automotive customers that insert large connector systems just the once during assembly. Often, there are repetitive strain injury concerns, or maybe they have invested in gold-plated contacts and want to protect the gold surface from scarring during this one-time mating procedure. Take a look at this older graph. Note that a force measurement was taken for just one insertion. Look at the difference in readings between the unlubricated in grey and our best performing insertion force reduction grease in blue, called Unifloor 8917. The difference is huge. US CAR, mentioned on this graphic, relates to the United States Council for Automotive Research. Myth five, fretting corrosion can't be curtailed. Here is a graphic that illustrates fretting wear and the start of the fretting corrosion process. You can see on the graphic that we're talking about terminal movements of 0.1 of a millimeter or less. The debris that builds up is most likely very small, almost dust-like. Once the fretting and oxidation process takes hold, the condition of the contact surface will deteriorate. 
and application of specialist dielectric connector grease will prevent fretting corrosion and oxidation problems. This graphic illustrates the lubrication of any movement or fretting in the connector. The presence of the grease protects the contact surface from oxygen, moisture and any other contaminants, so oxidation cannot take place. Here we have a histogram showing results from a comparison test for the fretting prevention performance in respect of our most commonly used connector lubricants. You'll see that the test was performed on a number of tin-plated copper contacts at 10 Hz with 100 micron movement. Real-world results will vary depending on the contact metal type, temperature, surface topography and other factors. Myth 6. A gold-plated contact doesn't need a connector grease. Gold plating is microscopically porous. The application of a grease environmentally seals the surface and so seals the pores, guarding against substrate oxidation and crucially protecting the gold surface from scarring or scratching during mating. This is especially relevant where a thin gold plating has been specified to help prevent fretting wear, but the contact forces are very high. So when the first mating of the connector or contact surface is, is performed, the gold plating is scratched away, negating the whole reason for investing in a gold plating contact in the first place. The subject of connector contact force is a tricky one. Too little contact force and the chances of fretting occurring are increased. Too much contact force may also contribute to fretting due to the aforementioned damage that could be inflicted on the contact surface during the initial mating. Thanks for watching. Please check out our other videos and support articles on the subject of electrical connector lubricants at our support website. And if you have any questions, please be sure to get in contact.